In this video, you will learn about what nomination pools are, how to join them, how to claim rewards from them, and how to exit them. Nomination pools are one of the key features from the roadmap of staking improvements on Polkadot. Before we dive deeper into them, uh, let us take a look at staking system on Polkadot at a high level. We have nominators who bond and stake their tokens on the validators they trust. If the nominator stake is not more than the minimum active nomination, which is about 150 dot uh, at the time of making this video, uh, the nominator would not receive any staking rewards. When nomination pools are live on Polkadot, this entry barrier will disappear. There will be a fixed minimum requirement, which is determined by Polkadot governance, um, you know, which will let you participate in Polkadot's staking system and let you earn rewards for your active participation for securing the network. Nomination pools are designed to permissionlessly allow members to pool their funds together and act as a single nominator account. Unlike a regular nominator account where you're in control of who you nominate your funds on, uh, on nomination pools, you delegate this task to the nomination pool operator. The collective stake of the pool is nominated to a set of validators and the staking rewards are accumulated in the pool, which will be available for you to claim. Nomination pools are already implemented on Kusama network and we will be using the brand new staking dashboard to join a nomination pool. The new staking dashboard lets you connect your accounts from multiple wallets. In this tutorial, we'll be working with an account that is on Polkadot.js extension. First, navigate to the staking dashboard and choose the network. For this tutorial, we'll be using Kusama network. Uh, the procedure would be similar on Polkadot network once the pools are live. Navigate to the pools tab and you'll be presented with this overview. You can see that the minimum bonding requirement to join a pool on Kusama is about 0.002 KSM. There are around 60 pools to choose from. You can click on the join pool button right there, which displays all the pools shown in multiple pages. You can view the list of validators who are nominated you know, by this pool by clicking on the view pool nominations link right there. This tutorial assumes that you already know which pool you want to join. If you are new to staking on Polkadot, uh, we recommend that you do your own research on which pool to nominate. Here, you're presented with a window that shows the maximum amount of tokens you can stake, which deducts the transaction fee required to submit this transaction. It is advised that you leave some free balance on your account for keeping the account alive and for future transactions that you'd like to make on this account. I'm ready to stake 0.3 KSM in this pool. Once I submit this transaction, the KSM will be bonded. You can see the status of the bonded tokens here on the dashboard. If everything goes well, with each error the pool is actively nominating, it will be accumulating rewards. You can view your share of the rewards right here and you should be able to claim them anytime you want to your account's free balance. So let me click on that. Uh, there you go. So it presents to you the fee that is required to make this withdrawal transaction. Instead of withdrawing the rewards to your account balance, you can also bond them for staking. You can do that by clicking on the bond button right there. And here you see the fee required for this transaction. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll bond my rewards back into the pool. Staking process on Polkadot and Kusama is very dynamic. You can choose to bond additional tokens right here. Unless you know what you're doing, bonding all of your tokens is not recommended 
as you will not have any free balance to make future transactions on this account. You'll need to transfer some tokens uh, into your account for that. Similarly, you can unbond your funds partially here. Uh, let me unbond 0.1 KSM from the pool. There you go. So now the dashboard shows the status of your unbonding funds. Now, if you'd like to completely exit the pool, you have to click on the leave button right there. Your tokens will take 28 eras, which is about seven days on Kusama and 28 days on Polkadot to be completely unlocked. So the unlocked tokens can be added back to your account balance after 28 eras uh, right here. Hope this video gave you an overview of what you can do with nomination pools using the staking dashboard. Uh, we have more tutorials lined up on this topic, so stay tuned on our Polkadot channel.